Hey everyone, today is day 19 of the 30 days of inner masculine healing. And today the question is, what lights your passion and what is your motivation for doing? So recently I kind of came to the realization that my reason and motivation and passion most of the time in the biggest moments of my life, quite honestly, were out of spite <laughs> um, to prove others wrong. I went to college, got management positions, moved states, got a corporate job, all to spite others, to prove that they were wrong. And you may like well, try to flip that and be like, okay, well, isn't that just to prove that you were right? And honestly, no, the intention behind it was literally just, I didn't care that I was right. I knew that I was right. I just wanted them to see that they were wrong. That was the important part. And after the shift that I've been doing lately, especially with shifting out of my active anger and into a more I have been trying to switch to a living out of a foundation of love versus a foundation of anger and spite and things like that and I <clears throat> since then have kind of lost some passion I've lost some motivation and I have been feeling a lot like lost because I just feel like I almost don't know how to do things anymore. And now I am realizing that I can make a shift from doing things out of spite to <laughs> doing things out of love for me. And instead of wanting to prove other people wrong, I just want to show myself that I can do it and that I can do it with passion and love for me. I am doing things because this is my life and I want to be happy and I want my life to be what I want it. I don't want, you know, anyone around me telling me what is right or wrong for me because it's not their life. And I think that's the reality that we all kind of hit a wall with because a lot of us want to do things for others' approval. We don't like when other people are, you know, excluding us from society and telling us that we aren't doing a good job or telling us that we aren't doing things right. And I feel like a lot of us are really scared of that because you almost get ostracized from society. But at the same time, me sitting here now, I'm thinking being ostracized from a society that I don't want to be a part of, that's the worst case scenario. That's fine. I don't need that. And so it's just kind of offering me a new way to look at things and a new way to get that motivation for myself. So I would love to hear what all of your answers are and I will see you tomorrow for day 20.